Off now on one, Hunter and Penny finally see eye to eye, but the same can't be said for Wendy and Scotty in Shortland Street. What's that? What's what? That drink. Uh, looks like a protein shake. Scotty has them after his run. Are you finished? Orderly, not cleaner, remember? I've got some time to go. Oh, I wish I did. I don't know how you do it. Work all day, work all night. I only work at the garage till 10, and it's just till things pick up again. Murray's going to the bank tomorrow. If the loan comes through, we can pay our suppliers and even things out again, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes. <laughs> when do you need it on the ward? I've just got something quick to do, then I'm all yours. I'm not due to start for another 10 minutes. Fine. She completely blanked you. How can you stand that? What is there to say? We see each other all the time and this is her workplace. I'm not meant to be here. Well, it's your home. She's not meant to be there. She should make an effort. What, like she does with you? What's well, funny. When her defences are down, she's as nice as can be. Other times, she's like a chill wind. Mm. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, me too. I'd better drop these off and then get back to it. Thanks for popping in. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, Sarah. Oh, you look so natural, sitting there. I almost forgot you were a visitor here. Yeah, well, one who is uh, just about leaving. Yeah. Hey, um, who? What happened yesterday? With Karen, I suppose everyone's hurt. <sighs> Shocking. Yeah, how are Nicole and Gerald? Recovering, having a day off. Then I passed the IV on the way back, business as usual. You wouldn't know anything happened. Yeah, except Karen's not there. That whole business with Morgan was so dreadful, and I've got no feeling for the man, but it's still a pretty horrible way to go. Live by the sword, die by the sword, I guess. Mm. See ya. Everything go well, I hope? Easy as. They bung swab thing in my mouth, load up with DNA. Bingo. <laughs> How's yours? Yeah, mouth, swab, yeah. DNA. Yeah, that? Whole thing's pretty out oh. of it, don't you reckon? Uh, I mean, yeah, us just I'm, I'm cruising along with our lives, then hello. That's the last thing in the world I expected. No, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind if you were my birth dad and that. And if not, right. then okay. hey, we each get a cool new friend. Pretty much win-win then, eh? Yeah. Okay, okay. I know that look. With his packed in, hasn't it? Yeah, another southerly. You better hit the road then. I can't leave you here now, everything up in the air. I'm fine at Scotty's, aren't I? Yeah. If you need to go back to the farm, just go. We'll call you as soon as we get the results. Thank you. We could have some lunch before you go? No, no, no. i got a pretty big trip ahead of me. So the sooner I get cracking, but you and the boy go. I'll say my goodbyes now, sir. I'll come back to Scotty's with you. Well, you suit yourself. I'll let the gang know I'm coming. I've got a couple of things to do, then I'll come round, take you out for lunch. I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. I'll see you in about an hour, OK? Sure. You guys getting along, then? He seems cool. And here's real nice friends, too. Like Scotty. Mm. I thought you liked him. Eh? Scotty. Oh, you don't look like you think much of him today. Are you kidding? He's the nicest. My mind was just somewhere else. Where? I can't take you on a tour today. I feel really bad. Oh, don't. We'll do it another time. You all right? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Sweet. Hi, you're back. Looks like it. Heard you're on sick leave. Are you okay? Yes. Excuse me. Okay. Nicole's bearing up well. Thanks for asking. Sit for a minute. I'm pretty busy. I bet. How's it feel to be back at work? If you mean, do I know how lucky I am? Yeah, I do. When I think where I might have been today. I've been having the same thoughts ever since this news about Karen. Has he been found yet? And his confession has brought all those memories about Morgan back. To think I could be in prison right now thanks to all his lies. He never did anyone any good, me included. We were together briefly, a mistake. Like all the men in my life. Well, it's easy to feel that way sometimes. No, I've been thinking about it a lot. I've always seen men as the answer. If I could only find one that was strong enough and financially secure enough, I'd be fine. But look at me. When the chips were down, I had no one. And nothing. No home, no savings, no income. You had friends. 
It's not enough. This cancer scare has been a real wake-up call for me. I'm not the same person anymore. Should I be worried? You personally? No. How's Sophie holding up? Not good. She's in shock. She won't talk about Karen. She's bottling it all up. It's a hard thing to take, that the man you love could do something so terrible. I really struggled with Ethan, believing that he was gone, believing what he'd done. Anyway, she'll get over it. Maybe quicker if she could talk to someone who understands. Do you think you could... No. Sorry, but I'm no counsellor. I'd be useless. <clears throat> Oh, you're here at last. Right on time. Uh, Mr. Franklin, Venus League also. He needs a three-layer compression bandage. Uh, four-layer is protocol, isn't it? Uh, maybe in Sarah's Backstreet GP clinic. No, I mean here. Scotty always uses four. But over here in the 21st century, we're using three. It speeds up the healing process. There was a research paper last year. Scotty's pretty set in his ways. Maybe I should check. I don't want to upset the apple one part. layer of bandage, Wendy, and I know what I'm talking about. Just do it. Oh, you're not seriously going to... Sorry, Vasa says that three-layer compression bandages help ulcers heal faster than four-layer, but we always so use, use four. three. What's the problem? My question exactly. Just making Uncle Brian some sandwiches. Okay. I bet you won't even stop to have them. Maybe you could tell me to take breaks. You can stop your worrying. I'll take a break as soon as I get on the ferry. Okay, boy. I guess this is it. You behave yourself. Come here. You'll be all right. Yeah. You'll be all right. You'll make sure he's all right. Of course. Yeah. If you want to go with your uncle, it's fine by me. Well, I'm not saying I don't want you to stay. Well, what are you saying? Well, it's a big thing for all of us, and it's been so sudden, we have no real way of knowing how it's going to be. You don't think I am your son? Your mother wouldn't lie about it. But you're not entirely sure. Oh, this is coming out all wrong. All I'm thinking is maybe you would be happier with your uncle, and that will always be an option. I have tried to explain to you I do not have the wherewithal. Well, I could help, Theo. An allowance and money for his education? Get your things. No, please, I'm just trying to do the right thing The here. right thing in my books is that a boy stays with his dad. Well, and mine too. Oh, I'm making such a hash of this. Because you need some time to decide whether you want me hanging around. I do, very much. Please, stay. OK, so it's just a case of the jitters, huh? Well, fair enough, fair enough. That's a lot to take in. Well, but I'm happy to. OK? I'll take very good care of him. I know. Thank you. OK, come on, son. Show me on my way. Sandwiches. Put them in your pocket. Brody came round last night to offer his sympathy, like I was still Kieran's wife. Well, legally you are. But what does that mean? I get to clean up the mess he left behind? Deal with everyone's anger and hatred. And what about the businesses? Who knows what dodgy stuff he's had going on there? Oh, you don't have to think about all that now. Except the Ivy's still ticking on. The CAF, the staff, someone has to be responsible. What if they find Karen's body? Sean's in court today. They say he'll be held on remand. That only leaves me to identify Karen to deal with the funeral. It'll all come to me, all of it. No, it won't. You are 18 years old. No one will expect that of you. Who else is there? No one. Whatever happens, it'll be me they'll come to. You called your mum? Dad did, and I spoke to her. Did she suggest that you come over? But I can't. I have to be here in case... Your dad is here. Brody and Hunter are here. There is nothing that they can't deal with for now. Go and see your mum, Soph. Let her look after you. Let her help you through this. Here's your mail and some returns from the station. We had to tear the covers off, but other than that, they're good. Any racy ones? I might have thrown in a couple. How are you doing? Bored out of my mind. What do you expect, being stuck in here for a whole month? Put up a pew and tell me what's going on. I can't. I'm on a break. I'll pop back during lunch for a cup of tea. 
Please tell me I can go home. I'm afraid the news isn't good. The latest antibiotics aren't working either. Oh, no. But we haven't quite exhausted all their options. I still have one more up my sleeve, vancomycin. Now, if anything will blast away the infection, it will. So if you're okay with that, we'll get you started right away. Okay, but if it doesn't work, I'm packing up and going home. Let's see how you respond first, eh? I can't stick much more of this. I'll go around the bee and let me have a word. Excuse me, vancomycin? That's a powerful drug, only used as a last resort. I'm afraid so. Eileen might cope a little better if she had a firm idea of when she might be discharged. It's impossible to say. The treatment has a high risk of toxicity. She's going to need weekly blood monitoring and twice daily dressing changes. But, ballpark? I've started her on a six week treatment plan. Oh, that's a long stretch on top of the time she's been in here. With no guarantee of a positive end result. Which is why I'm inclined to think she'd be better off in some sort of residential facility. You're talking long term. I'd like to be here when you tell her. Penny, about you shadowing in ED, how about we give you another go? I think you've earned it. Why? I mean... You picked up on the kid who was poison. It shows good instincts and common sense. And you've been really good with Phoenix. It shows compassion. Yeah? You might think the little things go unnoticed around here, but they don't. So, how about I tee up another nurse mentor session? On the medical ward this time. It'll be less full on. <laughs> Great, thank you. What are you looking for? The WHO surgical checklist for Mr. Middleton, left total knee joint replacement. Or well, use the USP list. It's what most hospitals use, and it's much quicker. Oh, don't tell me you want to run off and check with Scotty. Waste some more time? No, I'll use the USP. Uh, this came for you from the lab. What are you doing with that? We use the WHO checklist here. I know, but Vasa said most other hospitals... Vasa? Just... She's a bureau nurse. You're meant to be teaching her our protocols. But when I asked you about the compression bandage, you said to do... It's what completely the... different. The checklist is hospital policy. We use WHO because it's widely regarded as the best practice for reducing post-op complications. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Well, you should have. Well, you should have asked. Do I have to watch your every move now? How was your day? Couldn't stop thinking about Kieran. Evil thoughts. I hope they're all he deserves. That's not what you said when he beat up on Ash. You thought he'd done a good thing. I didn't know he was a killer then. A killer and a liar. I see all that's been going around in my head. How he tried to protect Sophie, how he lost his life saving three other people, one of them being Morgan's sister. How he told the whole truth in the end. I know it doesn't change what he did to Morgan, but it's just hard to know what to think anymore or feel. No, it isn't. Kieran killed someone and he got what was coming. A life for a life, it's the only justice. Do you really think that? Yes. And if you go soft on him now, start thinking, oh, he did these good things, maybe he's not so bad after all, then you're betraying Morgan's memory in the worst way. You're saying he didn't deserve to pay for what he did to her. No, it's not that. Then what? I don't know, I'm trying to work it all out. Look at a picture of Morgan. Remind yourself of what he took away. Maybe that'll help clear your head. I'm going straight to the petrol station from here so Murray can dash home for a tea break. Jasmine's got something thawing. Oh, she's a damn hand with the microwave, that one. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> and she said to tell you that Motti caught another mouse. Oh, that cat won't even remember me. He may as well move in with you. Nonsense. It's not that I'll be getting home any time soon, is it? You'll be so much better after this. Racing around with your new hip, you won't know yourself. They're going to put me into geriatric care, aren't they? Aren't they? Isaac might have mentioned something about respite care. Short term. Did you tell him to get knotted? Oh, Wendy, you're supposed to be my friend. How could you do this to me? I just want what's best for you. Rot! You're wiping your hands at me just like everybody else. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. Oh, not this again, please. 
throw yourself down the stairs, you said. I did not. If it was an accident, you'd get a new hip right away. It was an observation, not an instruction. Wendy, a word. Please tell me that is some kind of joke. It was an innocent comment. I never dreamed she'd actually do it. As a medical professional, you hold a great level of responsibility. It is not something to be abused. I'm sorry, I didn't think that... Hey, how's everyone doing? Getting there. I have my few bylogs of it. We've just been to the lawyers. This is for you. Every account number and password you will need to run the business. Guard this with your life. I hope you're ready to step up because you're it for a while. I'll do a good job, sir, if I won't let you down. I won't be here. Um, not for a while. I'm going to go see Mum. Like I said last night, I'm your contact person with Hunter as backup. Yeah, sure. No worries. When are you going? This afternoon. Um, I don't know for how long. Oh, well, good for you. Just get over there and forget about everything. I wish more than anything. I love you. I love you too. OK. Let's get you home and packed, huh? Bye. See you. Did they give any reason? But we still could have managed the repayments. Did you tell them that? Don't stress, Murray. That's not going to help. We'll manage. We always do. I've got to go. Talk later. OK, bye. Problem? The bank turned down our loan application, but I won't waste any more work time. What, well, you think I'm going to drop you in? No, but best I stay squeaky clean. My pay is the only thing that's keeping the wolf from the door. Well, have you done Mrs Turner's obs yet? Yes, uh, she seemed pretty down. I wonder whether I should arrange a psych consult for her. Well, she has a counsellor already. And what she's going through is standard fare for amputees, let alone amputees still dealing with cancer. But if she's clinically depressed, she may need meds. Well, if you want to do something constructive, you could arrange an aromatherapy massage. Some oncology patients find they help. Well, let me guess, they were big on that in Wellington. Guess you. You know what? I'm going to call the psych team anyway. You're staying here. Can I come in? Well, I was just about to go to work. Thanks. Walk. Let's stay long. Are you okay now? I know there was something wrong. You took leave. Yeah, and the last time we spoke, I snapped your head off, so I'm not surprised you keep your distance. But yes, I'm okay now. Good. And you? You've gone through hell. Well, I, I, I won't go on about it. I might never stop, and you don't want that. You should talk to a professional. Karen's body still hasn't been found? Maybe it never will be. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Is he really dead? No one could have survived that fall. Except it's Karen Mitchell we're talking about. He's a survivor. A kind way of putting it. He was very good to me. He's very generous with my father recently. Now and again, you did get the feeling there was a good person struggling to get out. A little bit like you. Yeah. And you're a good person through and through. So why are you bothering with me? Perhaps. And I'm holding you up. You're wanting to get to work. <clears throat> when are you back on deck? Tomorrow. And where will you go now? The IV, I suppose. Every time I walk in, I expect to see Karen. I really do have to go, but you don't have to rush off. Stay all day if you like. I couldn't. Why not? TK wouldn't mind. It's good home security. There's heaps of DVDs to watch, and it's got to be better than going back to that hotel room. Oh, I hate it there now. Well then, I will see you after work. Maybe we can split a pizza. No. Thank you. I chewed my ear off last night about some book he's reading for correspondence school. Which book? Catcher in the Rye. Really? Yeah, I must have been Phoenix's age when I read that for the first time. <laughs> When do you get these paternity results? Day after tomorrow. Feels like a long wait. Phoenix is a good kid. Whichever way the cards fall, I'd like to make sure he's well looked after. And in the meantime, I'm very grateful to you for all your help. Oh, you've supported me plenty of times. Anyway, thanks. Yeah. Hey, would you mind passing me my protein shake while you're up there? It's the, it's the one with the blue lid. In the side there. Ta. 
Oh, uh, I'm on to that nurse shadowing thing, okay? Okay. Is Eileen in the shower? No, she's in HDU. Didn't they phone you? Eileen had a stroke early this morning. How bad? The scan showed a lot of damage to the left side of her brain. We're not sure how it's affected her yet. She's still unconscious. I'm so sorry, Wendy. Oh, don't run away. Things just arrived for you. You right? Huh? You look like you've got a sore stomach. Oh, no, it's nothing. Hey, you okay? I just saw Sophie. She's going away to stay with Mum. Okay. She's a mess, carrying all the crap Kieran did in his life. Now, he killed Morgan, and I can't forgive him for that, or for what he's done to Sophie. She used to be happy, positive. And he's taken all that away and given her misery instead. You're right. Nothing he could have done at the end could make up for that. Explain something. You ordered a psych consult for Mrs Turner. Well, she's become increasingly depressed since she's been in here. I was concerned. She's a cancer patient who's just had amputation surgery. Of course she's depressed. We have counselling sessions already in place. I think she needs something more. Vasa suggested a massage, but that didn't seem appropriate, so I followed hospital protocol and involved the site team. Who are pushed to the limit. Making the patient comfortable and relaxed would have been more effective, like Vasa suggested. Do you always change your mind this often, or are you just doing it for me? First you tell me to do what Vasa says, then you tell me to ignore Vasa and stick to protocol. Now you're telling me I should have ignored the protocols and listened to Vasa. I've never struck anything like it. I beg your Clarity, pa consistency, respect. That is what I was taught to expect from a boss, and I'm not getting any of those things from you, not to mention a little support. You're meant to be a nursing manager, for goodness sake. And you're I on suspension, as of now. Get your things and leave the ward. Is that clear enough for you? Mike Sweeney meets farmers who are catering to the latest craze in cuisine on Ear to the Ground tonight at 8.30. But next today, there's a slight misunderstanding in Doctors.